Hello and welcome to a new trip report here on Bongo Plains. Today we are in Geneva, as you might recognize. We are already behind the security check for obvious reasons, we can't film those. Um, we are on our way to the information desk to see where our gate is. We are flying to Munich today, a direct flight with Swiss International Airlines. Um, it's about 20 minutes to 12, our flight will leave at 1.30, so we have plenty of time, Munich gate information at 12 o'clock, so there's still some time until we will have a gate. I will now go to the lounge and see if I can't film a bit more there. It's a Saturday, it's before 12 o'clock, it's not really the busiest time at any airport, so uh, hopefully it won't be too busy and I can film a little bit to show you the lounge here in Geneva, but let's see uh, what I can manage to do. So welcome to the lounge. The first food for me today doesn't look that great, does it now? No. But let's take a look here at the lounge. So this is the Geneva Business Lounge of Swiss Airlines. Um, it's all right. It's quite a right. You have some area further back where you have all the food and the entrance, and you have a lot of space here, and you have a little um, compartment here in the back as well. But that's pretty much it. Um, I do actually quite like the design, if you can call it that. Um, and today it's calm, which is always nice. So here we are back in the open area of the terminal. I had a little bit of a break. The food <laughs> wasn't so great today, um, but okay, it was free, so I won't complain. So it is really time for me to give you a bit more information um, on today's flight. So our gate is A9. We are almost there because we are almost at gate A10. We are flying from Geneva to Munich on Swiss International Airlines on the flight LX1124 and our seat will be 6A. Our boarding is supposed to start at 1 o'clock, a few minutes away from that, and our scheduled departure is supposed to be at 1.30, so let's see if that happens. Um, this route has normally, or for many years, been operated only by Lufthansa. They then handed it over to Swiss International Airlines, which is of course part of the Lufthansa group. But now there's some competition as well, because EasyJet is starting to fly this route as well. But today we are on Swiss, and we'll see how they manage. So we are at the gate now. I guess we will see each other on the plane. seat and we're waiting for the pushback which should start any moment and yes now it started so everything is good um, the weather as you can see actually doesn't look too bad but you can also see it has been raining this morning it was still pretty grim rainy gray um, not really nice but um, it looks like it could become a nice day anyway so um, I want to try something a little bit new uh, on these trip reports. Um, I want to basically give a few scores on the way and then we can kind of count everything together and have a total score for a trip that I'm doing. I will give points from 1 to 6, 6 being good and of course 1 being not very good. So if this shouldn't be very clear at the moment, don't worry, it will become much more clear at the end of this episode. Um, I will leave you now with the taxiing. I don't really know our runway for the moment. I have a sneaky suspicion it could be runway 23. That was where they started from when I looked earlier today, but the wind could have changed. Um, but anyway, I will confirm this when we speak again a bit later, uh, when we actually get closer to Munich itself. So see you in just a moment.
our way into Munich. So let's make a quick summary of today's flight. So we started in Geneva on runway 23, I predicted correctly, and we then did a right turn or a couple right turns before we then headed north towards Zurich, and then we basically just flew along the Alps, uh, and now we're into Munich. Today's flight so far has actually been pretty decent, flight crew friendly. Um, the food we got today, sandwich, you know, nothing uh, super surprising, nothing really extravagant, but it was a decent sandwich and I chose a soft drink for that, so that was pretty good. The um, space, the leg space or the leg room, um, also, I mean, it's pretty good, I think, considering most other airlines in Europe, so I will not complain about that. I'm 1 meter 82, and for me, the space is absolutely decent, um, so I think if you're 2 meters high, you might struggle a bit, but for anyone else, this is actually pretty sufficient. So on today's arrival, we came in from the west, and then we've done a few turns, and now we are actually flying into the airport uh, from the east, and that means we are, um, as I can see here, the runway now, we will be landing on runway 26 left, and since we are over the runway now, I will be quiet so we can assess how good or bad the landing will be. Yes, that's actually quite nice. Nice and smooth, especially considering the wind we have today, the windy conditions. So with that, I would like to say welcome to Munich. Now the big question is, of course, where we will go from here. So we are, of course, taxiing now uh, to our, our final parking position. There are three options um, that we can have here at Munich now. We can get an apron position, then we will be taken in to the terminal by bus. We can get a position directly at Terminal 2, um, which I think pretty much happens every time for this route, so I think that's definitely the one that is most likely to happen. And then there's the off chance that we might come to the satellite, the new satellite terminal of Munich. I've never been there, so that could be quite cool. Um, but as I don't know, and nobody knows except for the pilots at the moment where we will go, um, let's speed this up and then I will get back to you as soon as we know more. currently just you can see um, the satellite terminal um, I mean I guess we will get an apron position um, and then taken by bus but why well, who knows I mean this could actually happen the satellite was only opened in 2016 so this year and um, I mean this could be awesome I've seen this terminal being built but I have still yet to set a foot in it and it could be quite awesome to see it inside uh, by myself. Um, but, I mean, for, <laughs> for now we can really just wait, but, um, I mean, there's a gate open here, and yeah, we're turning. So, awesome, guys. We will see the new satellite in Munich. Um, I have never seen it, as I said. Um, if you have seen it, if you have been in there, um, if you have any thoughts on it, do you like it? Is it any good? Uh, let your th yeah leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I would experience it now. Um, this satellite building is um, only connected to the main terminal uh, with a train, so we <laughs> also get a train ride today. Um, 
but yeah, a nice A34600 from Lufthansa here. So yeah, guys, um, this is actually really awesome. Something new here on the channel. So um, see you when we get into the terminal. And we are off on our way into the new satellite terminal of Munich. This is, I'm, I'm genuinely um, excited. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's an airport I've spent a lot of time with and it's a part of the airport that I've seen being built and I have never seen it. And uh, it's my premiere here, so this is really nice. Um, so, yeah, on our way into the terminal. I mean, style-wise, many of the elements look very much like, well, like the Terminal 2, and yet there are some some differences. It's It does look a bit more modern, it does look a bit more new, unsurprising I guess. Um, so yeah, let's see, and I actually don't know my way out of here, <laughs> which is also not happening very often. Um, so yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Exit, so we go to the right. That's nice. I actually don't... What is this? K? K? Is this the K area of the airport? I guess. Well, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, so just let me know in the comment sections below where I actually am. Uh, no, but this is awesome. I really, really enjoy that. It looks really nice in here, I must say. I do like the, the lighting. I do... This is really nice. Um, I, I do sound way too excited for walking in a terminal building, and... Um, <laughs> But I, uh, I genuinely am really excited. Nice shops here. This is this is really nice. This looks this really pushes the airport to another level. I think um, really really great. Also have some lounges. Maybe you can try that one day. Uh, but for now we are on our way out, so we will go to the train. Um, this train, well the the tunnel of the train was already built when they built the Terminal 2, so they had already prepared everything, the infrastructure, um, for when they would build the satellite. So when they then did that, they already had that, and they didn't need to, you know, break up any of the tarmac, uh, and that was already done, so um, good planning there. And I actually think they all even have extended the tunnel further, because this airport is built in the, in the way that they have the main terminal too, then the satellite they've built now, and they have in plans that they can build another satellite before they then on uh, even further out would build a third terminal, but well, I guess that would take since it takes a while to build airports in Germany probably take 50 years maybe less so let's see, we are getting down here and uh, this is exciting this is really exciting. Um, <laughs> this is really silly. I shouldn't be so excited just walking through a terminal. Um, but I really am. So, um, you know what? I mean, this is boring getting down the stairs here. So let's see you down at the train. And we missed our train. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> it's not too bad. Because I do know that the trains, I think, go every five or four minutes. Um, so... It won't take us too long to get to the train. Um, the train system is automated, that I know, and as I said, every four or five minutes it does. Uh, there is a train leaving, so it won't take too long to get to the main terminal. So, um, see you on the train. <laughs>
train station of Terminal 2. Um, this is this does look quite amazing, uh, really spacious. Um, I wonder where we will get up into Terminal 2 now. Um, I mean, I would assume that we get into Terminal 2 basically where you would get to when you uh, get off a plane and uh, walk straight into the terminal, I guess. But um, I don't know, so let's just see where we end up. So guys, this is... Yeah, I'm really, I'm really baffled, I guess. I guess this tunnel is quite long and I thought that the train station... The twain... Speaking is not easy. I thought the train station was basically right at the terminal. But we've been walking for quite some time and this tunnel is really long. We still haven't gone up. So... <laughs> I'm baffled. I'm really baffled. Where are we actually going today? Um... Are we actually going to Terminal 2? Will we ever leave this airport? Find out in the next episode. No, I'm just joking. Um, I will speed this up and then we will see where we end up. I'm really, really baffled. So, we've been walking for some time and now we've finally got up. So where are we now? I mean, normally I know my way around it at this airport, but... Ah, okay, I get it, okay. So basically we walked all the way under Terminal 2, and now we are uh, where you can get your baggage, uh, your luggage, yeah. Okay, now I get it. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just because I had expected us to come in at a completely different place of the airport. So, um, but now, now, <laughs> now I understand. Um, awesome. Okay, so basically we have reached the end of, of this trip report. Uh, at this time now I will do my little summary and I will give the points to the different aspects. So for me to give this whole trip a score I will give sub scores to the different points you can see here and from that we then get the total score. So the departure airport today was of course Geneva. My experience there wasn't too bad. In fact it was actually quite good except for one thing and that was actually just before the security check. I do have access to the fast lane or priority lane. In this case I could not access it because they had problems with their uh, machines today at the airport which was a bit annoying because that meant I had to go into the longer queue and I was expecting simply just to walk straight past it. Other than that the airport was perfectly fine today. The lounge experience was very nice indeed, it was not very crowded. Um, the only minus point here was really the food that wasn't too good but as I also said earlier today it was free so um, but still. The boarding procedure today went smoothly, perfectly on time, no problems here, so that's a very good score as well. The flight itself was very nice, a bit bumpy right, but that's certainly nothing that I would give minus points for. The food on the flight was also very nice and I think today really an extra point for the staff or the flight crew because they were actually really friendly and welcoming. The arrival airport, Munich airport, a very nice airport, no problems here. We did get a little bit more time in the airport because we went into the satellite building. Um, but still, even with that extra trip we had there, uh, we still managed to get out of the airport fairly quickly. So also good points here. So that leaves us with a, and I think a very solid score, a 4.8 for this trip. I think that's a fair assessment of today's journey. I would like to say thank you very much for traveling with me. Thank you very much for sticking around so long. Hope to see you soon again on another trip. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon again and bye.